Approved Home Pros, connecting you to today's trends, easy upgrades, and the tips, advice, and answers you need for your home, featuring trusted local experts and San Diego's best home pros, guaranteed. Now, Approved Home Pros. Welcome to Approved Home Pro, San Diego's resource for all things home improvement. I'm Jordan Frazier. And I'm Sean Johnson. Sean, today it is all about design. Throughout the show, we are weaving with all of our experts talking about design elements so that you'll feel comfortable, happy, and just love the way your home looks when you go to it. Yeah, to me, design is such an important aspect of the home. You know, there's the bones of the home, and those are really important, the foundational structural things. But the, the design aspects are the things that are really, they make you smile when you come home, and they change the look and the feel of your home. Right, it's important to have a structurally sound home, but this is the part of the home that really showcases your personality and it makes the difference between my home and your home. Yeah. And uh, we have Cheryl Robertson on the show today. I bet we hear the word bling at least once as we're talking about design and, and some of the, the things that you can incorporate into your home. Well, I wore my turquoise dress just for her because <laughs> I know that is her favorite color. So we have all of that coming up, design tips, but also you know, furniture is coming your way. We've got designer style, easily accessible, but right now it's time for the quick tip of the week. Hi, I'm Greg McKay with New View Window Films, and here's your quick tip of the day. The misconception is that all window films are dark in appearance. They don't have to be dark in appearance. This is a typical film that's a 50% film. This will cut 50% of the heat, 99.9% .9 of your UV rays, and you won't even be able to tell that it's on your glass. That's my quick tip of the day. We all know that sun can damage your furniture, your paint, and your floors, but did you also know that it's the biggest source of damage for your roof? Today I'm here to learn more with Wayne Sorensen from Topline Roofing. Thanks so much for being here. Sure, glad to be here. This is really probably a pressing topic in San Diego with how much sun that we get. Why is the sun so damaging to our roof? Well, the dirty little secret people don't understand is though the, the damage from the sun manifests in the wintertime, it actually happens in the summertime because the UV is destroying any organic material. So, so it's the UV. Shingles, yeah, if you've got sh shingles, you've got asphalt um, underlayment, any of that being exposed to the sun is going to be destroyed during the summertime. And then it won't manifest till wintertime. That's the catch. <laughs> you aren't going to see it until we get some rain, yeah. and then you find out you have a leak. Right, and then you got bigger problems. So exactly. what do we do about it? Well, what you want to do is have it analyzed during, that time, during the summertime. Make sure that those issues are being addressed and dealt with before the winter comes, before you have serious problems. So how often do you recommend people have that roof inspection? Well, we recommend every four or five years have your roof looked at unless there's a reason to do it sooner than that. But usually every four or five years is a good time to keep in mind. Great, so if you out there haven't had a roof inspection in four to five years, we've had a lot of sun here in San Diego, you might not be seeing any problems, but it's time to have it inspected to make sure you're not in store for problems in the future. Absolutely. Catching them early is a way, great way to save money, right Wayne? Yep, absolutely. So our, the sun can be damaging to our roof, but it also heats up the house. Is ventilation part of this as well? Well, we always recommend that you've got to um, look at your ventilation. So many houses in San Diego are ventilated poorly. And the idea of ventilation is that basically um, everything is about energy efficiency. And if, you, if your attic is cooler, your house is going to be cooler. So the way you keep your attic cooler is keep the air moving. So if you get properly, properly ventilated attic, you're gonna keep your house cooler. And then also what a lot of people miss is that wintertime, you want ventilation because it's a lot, likewise is gonna keep your house warmer simply because you're, you're getting the air moving in your attic to, to dry out the moisture. So very quickly, if we don't have ventilation or we're not sure, can we call top line, have you come out, and is it possible to add ventilation if we don't have it? Yeah, the nice thing about ventilation, it can be retroed. An existing roof, poorly ventilated, you can come in and design a better system and install it almost to any roof. Thank you um, so afterwise. much, Wayne. You want to call Topline Roofing today, whether you need to add ventilation or have your roof inspected, call them today at 858-905-5903 or find them on ApprovedHomePros.com. So what goes in to having really clean and beautiful windows? It's not as easy as you might think. That's why I'm here with Paul from Blue Ocean Window Cleaning once again. And we're going a little bit deeper today into some of the tools of the trade and the way, why they're so important. Uh, and also we're gonna cover some hard to reach windows or some specialty windows. But first let's start with the tools of the trade. You've mentioned before to me an uh, eight foot pole. What does that do? Yeah, well, if you have a window that's just a little out of reach, uh, rather than bringing a, maybe a four foot step ladder, you can have a, uh, a pole that extends, put your squeegee on it, and do the very same work that you would if you were right there uh, easily accessible. So there's a variety of poles that are available, but typically you're going to end up with, uh, if it's a high window, you're going to get a ladder out. And there are ladders available that are 
20 feet, 24 feet, uh, even up to 32 feet. So, th so those wa they're water-fed poles, by the way, right? Water goes through them and into the squeegee? Well, that's a little different. The water-fed pole is a, uh, a pole that has uh, purified water running through it that we can actually clean a window that's four stories up. Oh, okay. And this pole extends and water goes through it and you scrub without having to get a ladder up there. Wow, I didn't realize there was a difference between the two. Yeah. So with the hard to reach windows or stained glass or something along those lines, that's where you'd use the pole. And it's, it's, they take special care for those windows, correct? Exactly, yeah. Uh, now, that, those are things where a homeowner, if they were trying to do it themselves, they might face damage or take a lot of risk. Also, getting up on the ladder is not a, a smart yeah. thing for a lot of people. To well, do. It's, it's, it's not the easiest thing to do to take a 28-foot ladder inside of a house and get it set up when you've got furniture and uh, uh, knickknacks around. Yeah, and, and when you've analyzed, as I've looked at it, for the price of having you come in and do a professional cleaning, versus a bucket bob. There's no comparison because there's so much more value. Yeah. But as opposed to doing it yourself and not maybe getting the right results because no, nobody's going to go invest in the tools that you have. Yeah. And how long does it take for somebody that, that comes under your training and tutelage to, to become proficient? I would want somebody working with one of my trainers effectively for six months before I really would be comfortable sending them out. They need to see every kind of scenario. Yeah, and to become a master, you've told me before, it takes about a year. Yeah. So these are things that the average homeowner was never going to learn. That's why I highly endorse blue ocean window cleaning. You're going to get the best possible results, save your own aggravation, and you're going to see clearly when you call Blue Ocean through Approved Home Pros. As it's starting to warm up, are you using your air conditioning and noticing that your utility bills are climbing? You have some choices when it comes to HVAC and being comfortable. So today I've come to WeCare here with Bob Riley to walk through our different options because it's about saving money, being comfortable and not always hearing the irritating sound of a system right. running outside. Well, it's also the peace of mind. I mean, you figure your systems are 10 to 12 years old. You want to make sure when you flip that switch on that your air conditioning is going to come on. So you really want to have that peace of mind knowing that your system is going to be operating. Absolutely, because being comfortable, you want to be able to rely on it all summer long and right. throughout the year. So what, what are we looking at today? We have so many systems here in the WeCare showroom, the Total mm. Performance Home Center. What, what options are we looking at? We have many different options. We have the different sizes. We have the different SEER ratings. Because SEER and ear rating is energy efficiency. It's kind of like miles per gallon. Okay. And the higher the miles per gallon or the energy efficiency is, the more money you're saving when you're actually turning the system on. You're getting your money's worth when you're using it. So the higher the efficiency system, the less of, um, the less it costs to run. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, and like, if we look at all these different size systems, these are all the same size systems. They're just different physical size difference because of the higher efficiencies. You have your basic systems, which is this 14 sear run of the mill, okay. all the way up to our top of the line XC25, which by actually is actually running right now, so you can really hear how quiet it really is. Yes, it's running right now. It is silent. I honestly, yeah. it just, I never would have noticed that the air conditioning was on other than that we're very comfortable here in this room. Yeah, and we're, at, and we're inside a closed building and it's still quiet. So these are the same size, but they put different outputs. So it's costing you different amounts to run. Yeah, they're the same size as in tonnage. And tonnage is a, is a way they're measured on what size each house needs. But the physical size is to get the higher efficiency, you need more square inches of coils. So they have to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's something to consider too, when you want to see how big your space is for where you're going to put the unit, which is also comes down to the sound factor because a lot of people end up putting these units outside maybe a bedroom window or outside right. a patio slider where you want to be able to use that outdoor space as well. You also want to be able to keep a window open if you want or close. There's right. so many choices and it goes into the, what you're choosing here. Right, and the, you know, this is a very large system as in, as in stature wise. It can actually not mix with your, your backyard it can actually look kind of gaudy. So you actually want to kind of want to pick out the systems that actually look good also. So what I'm getting down to is it sounds like the experts here at WeCare really can help personalize the right system for you because there are choices available. Definitely, most definitely. We can come out, in fact, you can come in here to our showroom and actually see the physical size and actually get an idea of really what's going to fit for you. And of course, if you can't make it to the showroom, WeCare will come to you and help personalize an AC system for your home. You can find them on ApprovedHomePros.com. Be safe, be sure, be confident about the home improvement companies you work with with the Approved Home Pros Guarantee. Only Approved Home Pros guarantees you will be satisfied with your home improvement, repair, or service, or we'll step in to help make it right. If you need help, our team of experts is behind you every step of the way when you use a pro in the Approved Home Pros Network. Move forward with confidence knowing you're never in this alone. Find a pro today at ApprovedHomePros.com. It's guaranteed. It's time to ask an expert, where we tackle everyday home improvement topics to help you better understand your home. 
Today I'm with Greg Cantor from Murray Lampert Design Build Remodel and Cheryl Robertson from Superior Floor and Cabinet Designs and Burger Hardware. Did I get that right? Yeah, I'm the split pers personality girl. <laughs> I love both stores. So I'm glad, glad you're representing both of them today. Today we're talking about the finishing touches and the design elements that kind of are the, the, the bling, so to speak, that finish a remodel. Uh, how important is that in, in the remodeling process, Greg? We'll start with you. Well, I think it's really important to have nice finishes, and I think it's more important, too, to plan them out and go look at what options there are and make sure you budget. And it isn't a huge amount of money to spend, either. But it, it makes a huge difference in the end of the day, right? It, it really reflects your personality in your remodel and makes it your own. So let's talk about some of the things that we're, def we're defining under this category. What are some of those finishing touches that you might be choosing that make that difference, that make that bling the jewelry for your home? Absolutely the hardware. There's some beautiful choices, very special things. Of course, turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, these are cabinet uh, drawer pulls? Cabinet pulls, yes. Cabinet pulls. Um, and, uh, bathroom fixtures? Bathroom accessories, absolutely. Okay. Uh, what what about carpeting rugs? So any the flooring would inc be included in within that. Yes. And uh, earlier, before we were preparing, I think uh, one of you made the uh, uh, correlation that this this is like the gown that you would right. that you would wear. The paint is the uh, is the makeup, and these and are this the is jewelry. like the earrings, right? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Where in the remodeling process should these be considered? Early? As early as possible, for sure. Okay. Yeah. And. and is that when you make the final choices or are you just kind of getting a sense of what you might be might be looking for? I think you make the get a sense of what you're looking for. Take some, come come and see us. Look at what what we have to offer. Take some pictures, get some ideas, and you that'll it'll refine as you go through the process because you'll have seen all these things and touch them and feel the quality and get an idea for what you want in your home. And as a design build company, it really helps us to have our clients go to the showroom and make selections so that we plug in the right amount of money. Absolutely, and because this could be maybe 5% of the total remodeling cost, but it could make 85% of the impression at the end of the Absolutely. day. Absolutely. If you have questions for our experts or want to see more information on previous questions, visit ApprovedHomePros.com in our Ask an Expert section. Have you been to a beautiful resort lately or seen a beautiful spread in a magazine and thought, I really wish I could have that look in my own home? Well, today you can, and I've come to More Furniture for Less to talk to Josh Tomlinson because it's easier than ever now to get that designer style without having to hire an interior designer. So tell me what we have here at More. Well, this is kind of a unique thing. We don't typically handle our showrooms like this, but it's a lot of fun. So I'll give you an example. There's, and you could find it, you could try to find it yourself, but there's a sofa in here that we use three different times throughout our showroom and in each environment it looks so different it creates a whole different message and feel for that room so it's a lot of fun so this is a really good example of how you can achieve that professional grade style without having first of all the expense obviously that's, right. that can be quite expensive but you can walk into a room and just say hey I want to buy all that and yeah. you can take that and transfer that into your place and feel that emotion that you felt when you walked up to it so it's pretty exciting. That is and I, I love a good scavenger hunt but yeah. I will say I have walked around the Moore showroom mm -hmm. and didn't know that until you pointed out that there's the same couch in these three different locations yeah. because that's what impacts all the other pieces that it's been surrounded with have sure. in transforming how that one couch looks and feels, which is something I think everyday shoppers probably struggle with the most yep. when they're looking for a complete room and they don't really know where to start. So I love that Moore has these beautiful vignettes and they're all so different yeah. and eclectic, but it blends the style so seamlessly. Yeah, it's tough too. when you know, as a consumer, you go out and you buy a new sofa. It looked great in the showroom. Yeah. When you get it back to your place, you don't have all the rugs and the accessories and things like that to really complement it. So just challenging yourself to, to go out there and, and take some risks. If you have certain pieces in your home that you really love, like, you know, heart sakes, if you've been traveling, you pick yeah. something up, you know, use that as a hub and, and come in here and get, get some inspiration and uh, it'll be really rewarding. So would you great. recommend if people have pieces that they want to make sure they incorporate yep. and incorporate beautifully, mm -hmm. bring in pictures, right? Absolutely. And, and kind yeah. of see what they're going to look like next to some of these vignettes and see how you're going to blend the two together. You'll find similar items, you know, in a, in a place like this where we've put everything together and just really uh, changed it up. So it's pretty fun. So you can come in and buy just the entire room, right? All of yep. these pieces have been selected. You could come in and buy the room and take it home. Yep. Or you could just go piece by piece. What do you recommend? I recommend that we deliver it, first of all. Don't take it home. But yeah. <laughs> Either one, whatever fits. You might be incorporating a lot of things from your home into the space. So it just depends on everybody's individual needs. If you're looking to emulate that beautiful resort you stayed at or that magazine page that you saw, come to More Furniture for Less and you can get a beautifully designed room for a fraction of the price of paying an interior designer. Hi, this is Richard Mates from Night Security. And this is Safe at Home, some insights into home security. 
And a question I received from a gentleman in Escondido was, when should I really use my alarm system? And certainly every time the family is gone and the home is vacant, the alarm system needs to be turned on. This is your most dangerous time, especially during daytime hours, nine o'clock till 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, your children coming home from school should be trained not only to turn the alarm off, but obviously turn it back on when they're doing their homework in the home until you arrive. You also should use your alarm system at night while you sleep. This gives the entire family a new level of security and safety because they're in the home and you don't have to be concerned about a child, small child going out to a pool or leaving the home. So if you have any questions on this topic or any other, I'd be happy to help you. If you try to reach me online or call me and please be safe at home. Thank you. Luxury vinyl flooring is really popular right now, but is it right for your home? Today I'm here with Cheryl Robertson from Superior Floor and Cabinet Designs to talk about it and figure out how we make the right choice for our home. Thanks for being with me today. Thank you for having me. So luxury vinyl flooring is one of many choices, obviously, for floor options yes. in our home. How do we know what it's right for us? Well, the best thing to do is come in and see us and let's talk about it. Let's talk about your lifestyle, your family members, do you have pets, kids? Um, what if, if you have a lot of time at home to maintain a floor, things like that. So we can help you make the best choice for your home. So one of those choices that's available is this luxury vinyl product, and it might be right for someone's entire home. How, what are the benefits of choosing this type of product? Well, it's waterproof, so you can put it in the kitchen, you can put it in the bathrooms, you can put it pretty much throughout your home. There are some caveats though we need to think about. So if you have like curved stairs or a curved landing upstairs, this is not wood, so we can't mold it like we would mold so wood. So it won't be able to bend and go to those curvatures. Exactly, exactly. So we need to know, control the expectations so we know what we can do and so we get a beautiful finished product. So, there, so say you do have curved stairs and this is what you want in your home. Well, let's put a really good textured carpet on the stairs, which has its benefits. It's um, less slippery. It's quieter, so you don't hear the kids running up and down the stairs or the dogs running up and down the stairs as much. And, it, and it's safer. So it's a beautiful option, but we need to talk to you and see what your needs are so we can help you, we can educate you to help you make your own choice. For all of the options available, because this luxury vinyl product comes in all the different looks. We've seen some, there's some wood examples here. It comes, looks like a tile in some situations, Absolutely. like a plank. So if you are trying to mimic that, this is an, a kind of an easier, clean way to do it. Absolutely. Because it's gonna be easy to clean and maintain and look great, but be safe for pets and kids, which is a big concern for a lot of people out there. Absolutely. Thanks, Cheryl. Get a floor that stays beautiful no matter what your lifestyle is with flooring from Superior Floor and Cabinet Designs. Call them today at 760-284-1150 or visit their showroom in Encinitas. Don't trust your home improvement decisions to unverified consumer reviews on other sites. Approved Home Pros offers you free and easy access to expert reviews of San Diego's best home improvement professionals. Our in-depth screening, research, and reviews are conducted by experienced and trusted experts who are members of the local community with knowledge of local codes and common issues. Find San Diego Pros and expert tips, advice, and answers on ApprovedHomePros.com. If you are ready to tackle a DIY painting project, there's so much more that goes into it to get the great results than just buying paint and putting it up on the wall. So today I've come to Hillcrest Ace Hardware talking with Harry Schwartz all about the prep work that goes into getting a great DIY project. That's exactly right. So, so often people will come in, buy paint, put it up on the wall, and then be unhappy with their results because not because of a problem with the paint, but because they didn't do proper prep work. And there's nothing worse than not being proud at the end of your DIY exactly. project. Exactly. So there are a number of steps to go through <laughs> to get your walls ready for the paint. And the first one is any repairs that need to be done. Okay. So let's say you've taken down some picture frames or anything that was hanging on the wall and it's left some holes. You'll want to go and do some repair work. You might also have some loose paint that needs to be scraped off. So for repair, spackling compound and a putty knife is all you need. Fill in those holes. A paint scraper maybe to scrape away loose paint um, that you don't want to have on the wall that's going to peel off once your new paint's on there. And it's easy with the right tools. It is easy with the right tools. After you've done the spackle, you just do a little bit of sanding to uh, give it a smooth surface. 
And then the next step is really the most important step, and it's the one that's most often skipped, and that's cleaning your walls. Imagine how long you've lived in your home, and nobody cleans their walls no, on a regular guilty. basis. Right? <laughs> guilty. Right? So you've got a few years of buildup of dust and smoke residue and things like that, and you want to get that cleaned off, otherwise it's going to show through your paint. So TSP is a product that we recommend for doing that, and it's basically just a sponge or a rag and some TSP and wiping down your wall. Another simple step, it just requires the right tools to do it, Give, get the walls nice and clean before you're going to do exactly. the painting. Exactly. Once you've repaired and cleaned, your next step is to prep with tape. So you're going to tape off the areas with that you're not want, going to want to paint, whether maybe you're not painting your baseboards or it's the ceiling line, um, around your rep receptacle switches, things like that, use your painter's tape. And of course the tape sticks better to a clean wall. That's exactly right. And then lastly is getting your painter's tools. So you want to get a good tray set. It's got a tray, roller, roller covers, paint brushes. And if you're using a good quality paint, you'll want to upgrade to a better quality roller and brush. And we recommend the Purdy brand, which is our top of the line product. So then you are ready to paint. So when you are ready to tackle your DIY project, head to your local Ace Hardware for all the painting supplies you need, and you'll have a perfect DIY project. Remodeling your pool is a huge project that can impact the look of your entire backyard. So it's important to go with a company you can trust. Gardner Pool and Outdoor Remodeling just celebrated its 50th anniversary, and that's why Mark Feldstein is here with me to talk a little bit about that. Mark, 50 years is a long time. Is there anything that's in common with over those 50 years that has helped you retain your customers that long? Well, the first thing is we don't sell to customers. We remodel pools for clients. Oh, that's a great point of differentiation. It's a, it's a big difference because if you're selling to a customer, that's someone who's buying and going away. You're for selling us, to them. That's right. We're guiding and servicing and helping our clients make the best decision for a big investment. So it's a consultative approach that really involves the customer? Absolutely. Our average uh, <laughs> visit is two hours. Two hours. We take a long time with our clients in order to make sure that they're making the right decisions for what they ultimately see as their vision for their backyard. Is that a common practice in your industry? No. A lot of the guys are in and out. They just want to write it up and get to the next appointment. Yeah, I've heard stories of people literally five, 10, 15 minute calls, where, and that's where they're really selling them what they have to offer, not consulting with them about what they need. That's exactly right. We have a wide breadth of services, but the only way to choose the best solutions for our clients is to listen to them. And a lot of the guys, they're not listening. We have to learn about what they want to do for their backyard, how they want to use the pool, maybe if they have children, all these different factors can decide, make, uh, help them make the right decision. Another thing that I, I like about uh, the way you work at Gardner is there's a lot of different people keeping their eye on your project. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, we have several layers of management to make sure the project goes through smoothly. So it starts with an in-house project manager. Then we have branch managers who are out in the field every day, along with field supervisors, and every crew has their own foreman. So the, the homeowner, the, you don't have to, they don't have to worry about all that, but they know if there's somebody they need to talk to, they're there at their disposal and they can get the answers they need. That's right. Because everyone is an in-house employee for us. We don't sub out. So they're seeing our employees every day working on their job. That's so critical. That's why you're such a great company. We recommend you so highly. If you're going to remodel your pool, go with the company you can trust. Call Gardner Pool and Outdoor Remodeling today. They'll make sure your pool is a star of your backyard. Today I'm out at La Mesa Lumber in the heart of La Mesa, which is actually a hardware store open to the public. You may have thought it was just for contractors, but that is not the case. So I'm here to share everything that they have to offer with Tyler, who is actually fourth generation of the family here that's run La Mesa Lumber. So thanks for having us out today. Let's just talk about what's available here. Yeah, so here at La Mesa Lumber, uh, you're going to find everything from decking, fencing, windows, doors, raw lumber products, a bunch of hardware. Uh, available as well. So everything that a homeowner would need all the way up to the professional contractor end of things. Yeah, exactly. So whether you're uh, at home do it yourself or um, you're someone who just needs to do a project over the weekend or you're a contractor doing it all day every day, uh, we have everything that everyone would need. And of course, custom milling, because so much of what you're working on at home may not be right off the rack. And that's what you guys can offer here is custom cuts and everything custom ordered. Yeah. So let's say you have old siding that hasn't been produced in 40 or 50 years. Uh, bring us a sample and we can match it. Um, if you have handrails that were custom one-off pieces that you can't find on the shelf, we can mill that. 
or if it's as simple as just needing a piece of wood cut down to a specific size, we can do that as well. What's the turnaround time on something like that? Well, obviously it's going to depend a lot on the size of the project. Uh, usually most mill orders are completed within 24 to 48 hours. Which is incredibly fast, and there's also delivery that comes with that, which is equally as quick. Yes. So uh, a lot of homeowners aren't going to be able to carry large pieces of lumber on their truck. Uh, in that case, we do offer delivery to all of San Diego County, um, even some parts just farther outside of it. I think that falls in really well with the customer service that you have here. Quickly talk to me about the values that La Mesa Lumber has that makes this such a good resource for the community. Yeah, so one thing my grandpa always stressed on the employees here was customer service. Obviously the big box stores are going to have some prices that undercut us, but what we excel in is customer service. So when you first drive into the yard for material, you're going to be greeted by one of the yard employees. You come up to the office for any hardware needs you'll have another guy service you all the way up to the counter where you check out. Thanks so much, Tyler. So no matter what it is that you're looking for for lumber or hardware, La Mesa Lumber has your back. Come check them out in the heart of La Mesa today. Companion units are a great solution for rental income or space for a loved one. There are three types, additions, detached buildings, and conversions of existing space. Conversions of existing space, like garages or basements, are the most economical, followed by additions, with detached buildings being more expensive due to utilities. In most cities, you can build up to 1,200 square feet detached or up to 50% of the existing living space attached. Before incurring any fees, I recommend finding out what's buildable on your property first. The build type will depend on if it's for personal use or rental income. Square footage is important on detached rental units to maximize return on investment. Don't undersize. When building companion units for a family member, you may want more square footage and custom features. If you're considering a companion unit, the best way to evaluate designs and costs is seeing examples of actual projects. Don't pay upfront consultation or design fees to someone who doesn't understand building costs. Only Approved Home Pros gives you the expert advantage you need when navigating the world of home improvement. Our network is a team of the most trusted and highly respected local home improvement experts. Expert reviews, advice, and answers have given thousands of homeowners like you the confidence that comes from having a team of professionals behind you. Like a friend in the business, we're here to protect your home and family by making it easy to find and connect with San Diego's best pros at ApprovedHomePros.com. Thanks to all of our experts today. Sean, I really enjoyed your interview with Gardner Outdoor Pool Remodeling. You know, having a beautiful outdoor pool is key, but trusting the company and learning about their background. So interesting today. Yeah, absolutely. They've been in business 50 years, and Mark came in to, to kind of talk about that, but he, he didn't brag about being in business for 50 years. It was about the things that set him apart and that you need to look for if you're going to be doing an outdoor project like that that are important to have to be able to get a great outcome. Absolutely. I learned so much from all of our experts, losing, learning how to choose what type of flooring is right for your home, but also the sun is damaging to your roof and when to get a roof inspection. It's all of these things that our experts can just easily take care of for you. And, and that's really what Approved Home Bros is, is experts guiding you and making themselves available to, to have their advice, the, the, the other companies they recommend, all as a free service to you. And of course, you can find that all very quickly and easily on ApprovedHomePros.com. So visit our website and search for free. Thank you for joining the Approved Home Pro Show. To connect with the show or find the very best home improvement companies in San Diego, log on to ApprovedHomePros.com or call 855-840-APRO. See you soon.